Hey everybody, welcome back. And today I'm gonna do a different kind of video that I've never done before. I'm gonna do a what's in my bag video. So from others that I've seen, I feel like a lot of people have like very interesting things in their bags and like um, things that you wouldn't really expect. I guess mine is kind of more normal, but I think the kind of secret sauce special sauce, whatever it's called, to mine will be the organization techniques um, because I need to keep mine super, super organized um, because God knows everything else in my life is unorganized. <laughs> so my bag needs to be organized. So this is the one that I'm currently using. Oh, it's pretty hefty. Um, this is from Just Fab, I think like probably three years ago or something. Whenever I got into trucking, I just kind of stocked up on inexpensive bags um, because prior to that I had all like, you know, not high-end designer, but you know, like decently priced bags um, that I would not want to get uh, messed up on the road. And I've learned that the road eats your bags <laughs> like nobody's business. So usually a bag will last me six months or so and then it gets torn up, it gets grease on it, stuff happens to it, and I have to end up tossing it or donating it or whatever if it's not in too bad of shape. Um, I've had several handles break on me because I'm always toting so much stuff in it. So I have to use the ones that are kind of less expensive so that, that way they're expendable. <laughs> so this is the one I've been using. The most important thing for me is that it needs to have a lot of room inside and preferably some outer pockets so that I can store things. So with this one I like that it has a little um, kind of strap going here so I can hang my sunnies off of it. And then in this front pocket over here I just keep some earbuds that I use um, to listen to like YouTube or music or whatever. And then in this pocket I have a cable for transferring files from my phone to the computer and then I have the two most important things uh, the little jump drives that I keep all of my video files on while I'm you know editing them so those stay right there safe and protected it also has a little pocket on the back that I haven't really put anything in and then on the inside is just this humongous open kind of thing and then a little pocket at the back and a little pocket on the front. So I'm just going to take everything out of here one by one and we're just going to look at it. <laughs> so in the very front pocket here, I just have a few small things. I have this um, Ulta nail file, one of those little crystal nail files. So I keep that in there because I'm constantly breaking nails on the road. Um, I have a couple little hair ties and then I have my YSL lipstick tube that has um, Benadryl in it. I did a DIY on my channel um, a couple months ago on this. If you want to see how to clean out your lipstick tube, BTW, I found an old Dior um, liquid lipstick tube that is so pretty. I think I'm going to do a video on how to clean that out since it's like more of a liquid and less of a stick like this one. So. I'm going to do that one also, I think, because that tube is really, really pretty, but the lipstick is really, really old. Um, next up, I have just my um, wallet. I just have a little crappy one that I use um, on the road, and the other side has, like, pockets for my um, ID and my credit cards and stuff. Then there's just a little zipper pocket here and a little pocket here, pockets everywhere. <laughs> so this one I think I got at Target. Uh, last year or something. These don't last me that long either. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just really hard on things whenever I know that I didn't spend a lot of money on them. Is anybody else like that? Like I don't really baby things unless I know that like it cost me more than I want to spend to replace it. But this was only like five bucks or something. Um, then in here I have, oh let me just show you, attached to the zipper thing on here. I just have um, a keychain that has my extra truck key um, just in case we get locked out of the truck or whatever that's in there where I know where it will be and then I have I think actually all of my little organizing things are from Ulta so that's where I got all of them from but the first one is this um, 
manky looking pouch. Um, this is from Tartan and Twine. All of these things will be from Tartan and Twine at Ulta. And this, I actually have a second one. This one that looks a little bit less beat up that I keep brushes in on the road um, whenever I'm taking them in the truck with me. So this one, on the inside it has two little compartments with a little divider right here. So on one side of it, I only keep my um, editing headphones so that that way I can really listen to what I'm yammering on about. <laughs> and I can tell if the dogs are barking in the background or whatever easier with these. So I keep those in there. And then I have this little um, tiny purse thing that I just keep um, earrings in. I don't really wear them a whole lot because I've lost so many of them. Like I would get back in the truck and my husband would be like, where's your other earring? And I will have lost one earring somewhere in Alabama, you know, or somewhere in New York. And <sighs> where did it go? I have no idea. Like the road eats up earrings like a dryer eats up socks, you know? But then I have some clear eyes because you guys know my allergies are popping. I have some antibacterial. Um, I have two different measuring tapes, one for truck measuring usage and one that is a like fabric type tape measure. Um, if I'm going to be ordering from a new store online, I always take my measurements um, to make sure that I'm ordering the right size. And then I have um, this little Revlon tweezer set. Um, I almost never use these actually, but they're in there in case I need it. Um, and it has this one, which I feel like would be good if I got like a splinter or something because it's that little like needle nose type of one. But, you know, it's in there if I need it and it's super, super tiny. So all of those things go in this little gray bag and I just zip it up and I will put that back in there so that I stay on track. Um, then I have this two, two zipper pouch. And in the first zipper, I just have some Z Quill in case I need it. And then I have all of our like club cards, medical cards, um, you know, like gift cards, Sonic cards, Starbucks card, whatever. All those go in here. And then in the bigger pouch, I just have uh, this that has all of our passports and social security and stuff in it. I have, um, a pearl necklace that my mom got me for my 30th birthday. Um, I keep it in here so that in case we go out somewhere nice on the road, I can, um, you know, I can wear something a little bit nicer with my jeans and t-shirts. <laughs> um, and then I got a, a library card. Um, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. I forgot that I have this in here. I've been carrying this recipe around for like the past four and a half years that we've been trucking because I didn't want to lose it. And it is <laughs> a recipe out of like a British cookbook for traditional chicken pot pie. And it is honestly the, oh, here's a picture of it. It is the most amazing chicken pot pie I've ever made in my life. Um, so I keep that recipe because that is one of the few recipes that I have ever like made over and over and over again. Um, so that stays in there with me <laughs> so that it is always with me. It's a prized possession <laughs> because the, the cookbook is no longer with me, but that recipe sure as hell is. So that's what's in this little pouch. Also, how perfect is this pouch? I love that it's see-through and you can kind of see what's in it um, without having to take it all out. Oh, I forgot this is in here. So I have probably the best thing that my husband has ever bought me. <laughs> is this um this do you know what it is <laughs> it is a straw like a drinking straw you know um but it's <laughs> I'm struggling with this it's a drinking straw there you go um and it's metal so it's like reusable um so this is perfect because in the truck I will often buy a drink and then I get in the truck and I'm like ah Damn it, I forgot to get a straw inside, but I've got my trusty metal straw and I love that it's long enough that you can put it down in like those really big drinks and it still does not like fall down inside of it. So this is amazing. Thank you, honey. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> I think I've had that thing for like three years now. Just wash it out and it's good to go. 
Um, I have this little coach wristlet with just a bunch of spare change in it. Um, that's all that exists for. And it's one of the few that I own that is like this small size and it's leather so I don't really worry about it getting too beat up. Um, I've had this for like eight or nine years now and it still looks brand new so thank goodness for quality. So the next thing in here is um, uh, this also from Tartan and Twine. I could have swore that oh it does say it down here on the bottom but this is from Tartan and Twine and it is kind of like a little clear envelope case and in here I keep every single important paper that we would ever need. So all of our like insurance paperwork is in here, our dog's insurance paperwork, our dog's registration paperwork. Um, let me see what else I got in here. Honestly some of this stuff has been in here for years um, and I've never had to use it but you know if you ever need to it would be there. Oh look at this! you guys. <laughs> um, this is my dog's Christmas picture from Petco last year. Tell me that this Santa Claus does not have like serial killer eyes. He was just not having it. He did not want to be there at work that day. I just, I looked at him and I was like, could you maybe be a little bit more jolly? Like, I didn't say that, but I wanted to. Petco never has good Santas, but we missed the PetSmart one because it was only on Saturday this year. Oh, I forgot about this. So I got some pictures enlarged and made for my grandparents for my grandpa's birthday this year. Oh my gosh. And I have the original pictures because I didn't want anything to happen to them. So I got them enlarged and printed off and I had them framed and stuff for them. Since my grandma lives in a, a you know, a, what do you call it? A home. So this is them in um, January of 1957, whenever they were dating. Um, this is the main street of our town that they all still live in. Um, how cute are they? And then here they are on their wedding day. Um, June 1957. Look, look at my grandma. She's wearing hot pants, guys. She is wearing hot pants, and my grandpa is actually wearing a baby pink shirt here. Um, you can't tell because it's black and white, but look how cute they are. <sighs> okay, I had to take a couple minutes. So that is what is in there. Um, I feel like this is something that kind of everybody needs, just to keep all of your important stuff organized like your car paperwork or whatever, uh, instead of having it all just shoved into the glove box. And then here's the last little pouch that I have in there, which is just the baby size of that big one. Um, and this one I use to keep our checkbooks in, extra cash that I don't want to keep in my wallet. Um, I have like some store coupons in here that I need to use, business cards, Anything little like receipts that I want to hold on to, all of those stay in here because I use this a lot more than I use um, on a daily basis, the big one. So this one is more of my everyday use thingamabob. And then the back pouch, I have my Bluetooth, which I almost never use because I don't like to talk whenever I'm driving. Um, I have a spare car key. And then I have... What is this thing? Oh, another spare car key. That's great. Keep them both in the same place, right? <laughs> um, and then I have a L'Oreal Lilac lipstick. Um, this is in Choco Lac. I love this color. I keep it in my purse just in case um, I don't have a different lipstick. And then I have just a bunch of rollers, fragrance rollers, because trucking, you never know. <laughs> Sometimes you walk by like a pig hauler or a cow hauler, <sighs> that stink does not come off, even just from walking by it. So you, I gotta like douse myself in cologne or perfume, whatever. So I have um, Toka's Florence. I don't really like this that much, but I keep it in there just so I can use it eventually. I have um, Estee Lauder's Modern Muse Le Rouge. This one is pretty good. I like the smell of it. Um, Clean Blossom. This one is pretty good also. I like it. It's very fresh. Um, BCBG Bon Genre. Um, I don't, I don't remember buying this. 
Maybe I got it in a subscription box or something, but there's that one. And, um, oh, my favorite one of all time is the Daisy Dream Marc Jacobs. I love this. This is like my fifth rollerball. Um, it is my all time favorite perfume ever. And I always get so many compliments whenever I wear this. And then the last one that I have, oh, this is my husband's. This is Jimmy Choo Man. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. Um, love him in this. So this smells amazing. Um, I keep this in here just in case he forgets his full size one that he has. That way he will have one to use. Um, I think, I think that's it. I think that's everything that's in my purse. So there you go. That is all of it. And it's all compartmentalized. So everything that I would need to use on a day to day basis, I know exactly where it's at. And I know which pouch, you know, if my husband, if he needs to get something out of my purse while I'm driving, I can just tell him it's in the black mesh pouch, you know, or it's in the small clear pouch. Because y'all know men need very clear instructions whenever they're looking for something. So that is all of my bag. That's my bag tour. What's in my bag? All that in a bag of chips. Actually, I wish I had a bag of chips right now. Some of those Cheetos, like flaming Hot jalapeno ones. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I gotta just, <laughs> I gotta end it right there because I need to go get me some chips. But that is it. I hope that you guys liked this tour of my bag. Um, and I hope that maybe it gave you some ideas on how you can organize yours. This is also really great if you switch between bags on a daily or weekly basis. Um, it helps you to just move everything super, super quick. Um, so nothing is ever like loose in your bag. So that is it. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.